Today we're going to do a quick test of the uh, painting system. It's a little windy today. I think it's uh, about seven to seven to nine somewhere in that general area. Uh, gusty, so the aircraft moved around a little bit. But uh, other than that, uh, we'll see if we can get some paint on the wall. As you can see, we're going to do a couple of passes. Uh, this is a smaller, lighter developmental aircraft, so you can see that the wind affects the yaw uh, a little bit more. So we're actually being turned a little bit by the yaw and by the uh, effects of the hose. Uh, so we will see that throughout uh, most of the video uh, just because of the wind speeds and the, and the effect of the hose. The larger aircraft won't be as affected by this because it has more power and more weight. As you can see, we on our third pass here, we have a good pass. Um, uh, didn't uh, make any changes for the uh, fingers. Uh, we were just trying to get this uh, done quickly uh, due to the winds picking up throughout the day. Uh, so we're just going to fast forward here and do a couple uh, quick passes. This way you can see the, the way that the system operates. And here we're going to slow down for our last couple of passes. Uh, give you a good view of how the uh, how the spray is coming out of the tip. Uh, again, you can see the little bit overspray uh, going to the right, uh, left there uh, due to the wind. But even with this amount of wind, uh, we had very little uh, overspray on the aircraft itself. And we'll go ahead and get this last pass going. Uh, total time to paint this uh, section, which is approximately uh, 10 foot by about 24 feet, uh, took roughly about five minutes. And here you're seeing our plotted flight data from the Leica. You can see that our vertical passes were uh, pretty straight and uh, evenly spaced out. And then next year you see our graph data. This is our distance to the wall uh, from the front of the aircraft to the actual wall. Uh, we shoot right now we're shooting for uh, 1100. Uh, you can see that we have a, a standard deviation of about 2.5 cm uh, from center. Uh, our objective is, is about two centimeters. And then this data is uh, our vertical speed data. Uh, the plots on the top are when we're coming down and the plots on the bottom are when we're going up because this graph is actually inverted so uh, you can see from the uh, plots on the bottom that our acceleration is very fast and we maintain a steady speed throughout the vertical pass and then slow down quickly at the end. This concludes our quick demonstration. If you have any questions feel free to direct them towards Bob Dahlstrom and he'll be happy to answer them for you.